Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a good old play session of a new brand that I've never tried before and I've been extremely intrigued by. We're gonna be covering Kimchi Chic Beauty. So if you wanna see what I got and what I'm playing with, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. The makeup that I have, it's not new. It's definitely not new. Because I placed this order from Kimchi Chic Beauty months ago. I don't even wanna tell you how many months ago, but like it may or may not have been around a certain holiday called Valentine's Day when they had a sale and these have been sitting in my makeup collection waiting to be used and I don't know. Oh, and finally I sat down today and I was like what do I want to film today I looked down at my drawers of makeup that I haven't used and I was like it's time it's your time kimchi I actually have had a lot of you guys recommend this brand to me you said their products are really good but most importantly for me the packaging is just so cute I believe kimchi is a drag queen and she was on RuPaul's drag race and oh my gosh not exaggerating when I say cutest makeup I've ever seen. I have been absolutely dying to try this makeup and then I forgot about it and then I'm back again to wanting to try it. So I'm happy I had the time. I'm gonna show you what I picked up like six months ago <laughs> and we're just gonna play with it. I was looking on the website today. Man, things have changed within the last six months. They have a lot of other new makeup items. So we'll see how this goes today. Maybe I'll place another order. So I have some basic stuff that's kind of older ish because makeup world time flies it really does so let's get into it you guys are gonna love how cute these products are if you're into packaging so we're gonna start off with bronzer here i picked up one bronzer so here's what the box looks like and these are 15 dollars each not too bad of a price on the back this is really cute it says they are a proud partner of the trevor project we are committed to donating two percent of our sale prices to the trevor project which is really awesome we love a good philanthropy with our makeup brand so the packaging reminds me a lot of Too faced it's just so cute it is a plastic packaging and i got the shade Thaler, Thaler is I collect bronzer 01 which is I went to Malibu let's take a look so cute it has a little kimchi embossing let's swatch it feels very very creamy okay I think this is gonna be good so far I'm liking the way it feels I'm using an Esam V54 no where did I get that number from 49 <laughs> and ooh, i like this one this is a warm bronzer it does carry some good pigment to it nothing too crazy though it's really smooth and blendable and it didn't take too much to apply like you see it travels far on the face i like this oh my goodness you guys can see my dandruff listen update on my dandruff <laughs> <laughs> if you're new here, don't be scared. I, I've been struggling with dandruff and balancing that between my curly hair and not wanting to wash it too much and workouts, etc, etc. It's improved so much with the products that I've been using, but it's not it's not gone yet. But the improvement, you guys. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out because dark hair and dandruff, not cute. Anyways, I like this bronzer. Blending really, really smooth on the skin. I like the warmth that it has as well. Gorgeous. Wow, $15. This is a really, really good bronzer. I really like this. Okay, thumbs up. I also got two blushes. I clearly could not make my mind up. So they both come in this nice pink packaging, baby pink. Oh, all of these have the cutest sayings. Tan tan, vacation tan, blush for your flush. And Kim Chi, the owner of the brand, really just like writes cute notes on the packaging. I love this brand. Everything about this brand so far just seems so thoughtful. Like a lot of love and thought went into these products, which I very much appreciate. As somebody who appreciates makeup and appreciates everything from the packaging to the website, to the product itself and the quality, all aspects of the marketing to the actual point of application, I can see the effort that was put in these products. 
products. So here's what the packaging looks like of the blushes, the individual ones. They now have trios from what I can see on the website. It's kind of this metallic pink, and I chose two colors. So these are $15 each, just like the bronzer. And the blushes come with two sides, as you can see. This is vacation, and this is pinky. So let's see, let's do pinky first. I'm gonna swatch the two sides. Okay, so this is really great. It's a great bargain because you get two shades that are clearly different, which I really like. Then let me do vacation. Again, they feel really creamy. They feel like they're gonna have a lot of pigment to them. This is vacation, these bottom two. You can see how beautiful these swatches are. I'm very, very impressed so far. Let's put on a couple different blushes. So I wanna start off with the deepest one right here in vacation. They do have some kickback, but nothing too terrible. Very pigmented, but not too pigmented. It's more like, hmm. Compared to a lot of other blushes I have, these definitely have a bit more pigment, but it still isn't overwhelming. It's still workable. As long as you go in with a light hand, you'll be fine. And it blends onto the skin really well. That's cute. Let's go into the lighter pink right here. This is an Isom V50, by the way. This one is a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit lighter for my skin tone but you can see it still has some color to it and they both look different they don't look the same which is really great meaning it's a better value so again super into these blushes kimchi cheek beauty is doing a good job so far. Let's keep the momentum up. I picked up one of the highlighters. Now there are multiple colors and multiple different styles of formulations in the range, so it's definitely worth taking a look at the website. But let me take a look at the highlights. So it looks like these individual ones are, you guessed it, $15. There's a couple bundle deals. There's some liquid highlights, a couple different palettes. Let's see. What I ended up with. So this one says get glow and the packaging is a light purple. Super cute. I got the shade Hollywood Glow. This is the lightest one. There are three different shades of these. And I see I like the split pan. You just get more. These don't feel as creamy I would say as the blushes. They feel a little bit more powdery and they aren't swatching as nice. I personally think I would like some more creaminess. Just feels too powdery, but let's see. This is a Kaleidos H1 brush. It translates on the skin well. It really does. I didn't like the swatch. I just like highlights that tend to feel a little bit creamier, but it's translating a nice on the skin. I'm gonna get to the other side now. This side looks like it's gonna be a little bit more glittery. Not too glittery. I mean, this might just be the colors that I picked, but for me, it's a bit too icy. I really loved the blush and the bronzer formula. I'm not as moved by the highlight formula. It definitely gets the job done. Like, the highlight works. <laughs> it's a decent highlight, but it's not special. It's not looking as blended into the skin as I would prefer. So this one I'm kind of eh about, but the other two items so far have been phenomenal. It's time to get into my favorite part of this video. Those other products were just a warm-up, but the eyeshadow palettes, which you guys know how much I love eyeshadow palettes are amazing. So I'm gonna start off with the one that I'm not going to use today because I think this was limited edition and it's sold out. It's still on the website, but it's not available right now. But this is the Ketnips and Kimchi Rainbow Shorts <laughs> Mini Me Eyeshadow Palette. It was $15. However, this is what I didn't realize. There's a bigger version of it for $28, but there's a mini version. I'm in love with the fact that they did a big version and a mini version. So first of all, I want you to look at the artwork on the packaging. It's so cute. Literally the cutest makeup ever. Even the cardboard on the outside, and it is literally a mini palette. The cutest palette ever. I mean, the colors are cute too. It's a neutral palette, but let me get a normal size brush. This is a PK Beauty 201. It's so tiny. I need to compare it. Let me get a Natasha palette. Circo Loco was just available, but look at this. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I wish this was still available because it's actually the cutest thing that I've ever seen. 
Oh my goodness, $15 too. I need all makeup to be mini like that because my collection is a lot. <laughs> so the fact that they're so small would justify it more for me. It's cheaper. The colors look pretty. They swatched really nice as well. Unfortunately, like I said, this is no longer available. It's sold out, but it's on the website. So we're gonna go in with the other palette that I have that is still available. You can see these prices are very affordable. This is the Virgin Mojito palette. It's $14. And again, just so much thought went behind these products. It's incredible. Here's what the packaging looks like. This one is pretty simple, but when you see the inside, it's going to be made up for. So this is kimchi right here. And here is the adorable palette. I absolutely love what they did with the artwork here. You, get, They put a little bear ear around this and it's called Pear Bear. Yellow Diamond, Limoncello, Mint Chip. I mean, this is a makeup brand for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do this eye, and then I'll move on to this eye for you guys. So I'll be right back. Got the lemon lime kind of look going. Oh, I had so much fun with this palette. It's it's a good one. Not perfect, I'll tell you about it, but it's a good one. Brought you nice and close. We're gonna start off with lemon cello. I'm using a BK Beauty 202 brush, and by the way, my base right now is Urban Decay Primer Potion, which which sometimes makes shadows a little bit difficult to blend. Just a forewarning there. So that's why I'm putting this yellow in my crease so that it's easier to blend some shadows. I'm also gonna run this along the lower lash line. I like that this brush has a nice tip to it because it means I don't need to use another brush to get it all down here. I'm gonna wipe this brush off. We're gonna take some of Sour Apple down here, which is like a lime green. and putting this in the inner half of my crease, I will say. This kind of looks the same as the yellow shade, so the colors don't differ like I would like them to. If you really wanted them to look different, you could put a white base down, but I'm not a big fan of how they kind of look the same. As you can see, you can see slight differences, but just keep that in mind that these kind of look the same. All right, here's our start here. I know we look a little weird. Sonia G, it's soft definer, and I'm using some of Sour Pop right here, which this color is not the easiest to use. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. These colors right here are typically pretty hard to work with. I think they're hard to formulate or something, but yeah, this one's no exception. It's, it's a little bit of extra work to blend. However, pigmentation is there. We did a great job with pigmentation. Just be careful and move slow for blending because I did struggle a little bit, but not too much since I didn't put it on too big of an area. Just be aware of that. But it still works. Opacity is really great. So we were able to make it work. Just can't get over how fun and how cute the palettes are from this brand. Can't believe it took me so long to try these. They're adorable. I'm going to just take my finger and we're going into Pear Bear. This is a shimmery neon yellow. It's not metallic by any means, but you can see it does have a shimmer to it. And I'm just putting this on the inner third of the eyelid right here. I'm taking my Refer 28 brush and we're going into Lime Fizz, which has that same shimmer formula. And it's just the green version. And we're going to bridge the yellow between the green and because it's a shimmer it really is going to make it super seamless. Isn't this cute? Blend this a little bit more. Final touch. We're taking Yellow Diamond, which this one has some actual very fine glitter particles. I'm putting it right on top of the inner corner to add a little bit of extra pizzazz. And I'm gonna take actually some of Pear Bear right here, that first shimmery yellow. I just want to put it in the inner corner of the lower lash line just to pull things together. This look is so cute. I haven't done a look like this in a while. I really like it. Okay, I mean, all things considered, I did say that dark green was a little bit harder to work with, but it, it wasn't that hard. I think the formula here is very nice, very workable. So I'm gonna do liner lashes, and then we'll be back to finish off lips. All right, so here's what the final look is with liner and lashes. So cute! I really like it. It is very neon, though. I looked at myself from afar in the mirror, and I was like, whew, that's very, very bright. But if you like really bright neon colors, this 
this is the palette for you. Really fun. We're gonna move on to the last product that I have, which is a lip gloss. I only picked up one. These are called the High Key Gloss. I got mine in the shade Natural. These are $11. This brand is priced very fair. Really liking the prices. I guess this kind of goes, right? I picked out my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon and Diana. I thought these two would go together, so let me pop this on. All right, let's see. The packaging feels a little bit on the cheaper side, but obviously we're not paying a luxury price for this. No scent. For all of you guys who don't like scent, here's what the applicator looks like. Let's see. Super pigmented. Not sticky. Wow, I really like this formula. This is a good formula. It's like not sticky at all. It gives you so much pigment. Okay, nice. I mean, also on the website, they have a like a shimmery gloss formula that you can put on top. They're called the Gloss Over Gloss Lip Gloss. <laughs> There's also a plumping lip gloss. Surprised I don't see any um, liquid lipsticks. Oh, I guess I'm on the lips gloss category. No, they don't have liquid lipsticks. Interesting. Anyways, I mean, here is the final look. And I have to say, I am so impressed with Kimchi Chic Beauty. This brand is officially on my radar. The only thing that I tried today that I wasn't in love with was the highlighter. But other than that, the bronzer was so creamy. It was a great level of pigmentation, not too warm. Same exact feelings about the blushes as well. They are creamy, they're pigmented, but they're still blendable. I like that the blushes are split panned as well. And the eyeshadow palettes are so affordable. The color stories are so thoughtful as well. I'm looking at the website right now of all the other palettes that they have. So cute, so thought out, great color stories. They even have some neutral palettes for you neutral wearers. I'm not gonna buy any more makeup from this band for a while probably just because I have a lot of other stuff that I'm working through, but if I had the space, I would totally buy more from this brand because I cannot get over how cute these shadows are. I don't think they're the best shadow quality in the world. However, definitely fantastic for the price, workable, a great opportunity to pick up some nice colorful shades, pigmented, overall really solid. Oh, and the gloss, I almost forgot really awesome gloss as well. Really solid experience with this brand. Officially a new brand on my radar. I'm going to keep an eye out for their new releases because I'm super impressed with the quality. So I had a lot of fun just playing around with a new makeup brand for today's video. Haven't done this in a while I feel like so I love featuring and trying out new brands. So let me know if there are any other brands that you think I would love and need to try out. But I give this one a thumbs up. Definitely keep an eye out for any sales that they have if you're interested in purchasing anything from the brand, I think you will really like it. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you weren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.